What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We're about to look at some Pavarotti, Luciano Pavarotti, and we're about to listen to Vesti La Giuba. Okay, now before my last channel was deleted and taken down, I was actually on the road to listening to a lot of opera, and I want to continue that whole entire thing because I was learning a lot and especially about the talent and performance aspects of what it takes to dive into opera. And a lot of people uh, tell me that Pavarotti is actually one of the best, if not the best tenors that has ever performed, of course. So without further ado, let's shut up and turn it up. I feel like I'm about to witness some greatness here. Just trying to compose myself right now because mastery, brilliant, 
the videos that I've seen of Pavarotti was, I think, in the ones that I was looking at were, oh, he was older. He looks younger in this, albeit he might be, if I'm taking a guess, I'm going to say maybe <clears throat> 30s, maybe mid 40s. But he looks like a younger. I feel like what I'm experiencing here is the prime Pavarotti, but I don't know what age you reach your prime. I feel like with opera, uh, middle age is probably your prime years because that's when all of your development for the most time, like like a physical development, biology development is there. Now you've got the hone on mastering control of your vocals. So I just want to touch on the ones that I was looking at when it came to Pavarotti was he was for the most part stationary, right? He wasn't moving much. So this is the first time I've seen him moving about. Um, I would think that when you're moving, it's even harder because when you're singing opera, you have to summon your entire being into that. So the fact that everything sounded so pure made everything sound even better. Not even to mention the emotions that was on his face. That I think that's that's like the second part of opera because you are not only singing, but you're you, you, when you put these emotions on your face, which I'm imagining you have to in order to in order to, to do these things well. Um, that's how you invite the audience into it. Like when he started going up high, I felt like I was there, like singing, I was there in the crowd, right? Do you know how difficult it is when you're singing opera to captivate somebody, right? Cause you can try to sing opera, right? But it's got to come from the heart and the soul. And those of you who are masters of opera or masters or, or vocal coach, I imagine that you know where, you know, the, the, the faults are when it comes to opera and I'm since you know I'm 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 a newbie like I'm naive to some of the techniques right now I'm just speaking for more of a, what I can hear my musical training my musical theory experience that sounded perfect everything all the way down to emotions it was extremely believable you would think that he's up there talking about his own life that's the type of performance it draws you in that is not an easy feat that's kind of like a man I gotta go to an opera performance now I know that Pavarotti has passed away. I believe he's passed away, and if he hasn't, uh, forgive me. Um, so I will not ever be able to see him live. Um, but I would love to go to an opera one day. I had to find one that's around here uh, where I stay at, so I could uh, so I could find one, so I could witness this with the right acoustics. And I got pretty good headphones here, so I'm pretty sure I'm able to hear all the intricacies in there. But everything just sounded just pure amazement. You, you invoke a emotional reaction out of me, and you've done your job. Pavarotti's done it 10 times over, right? And his song that he did, uh, it was started with, it was Nessa. I've heard that one. That was absolutely beautiful. As a matter of fact, on my old channel, before it got deleted, that was the first one that I've seen of Pavarotti, and I was instantly captured, uh, cap captivated. So now I just go down the road, start discovering who exactly Pavarotti is. And if this isn't his prime, which I've had a hard time believing, then you guys reckon me a song where he was in his prime. Because I feel like he's always sounded good no matter what he's what no matter where he was in life right this is kind of one of those prodigal voices that we're hearing brilliant like the video said brilliant and just straight amazing and this part right here where he was wiping it that stuff was so believable imagine how many times they rehearse this type of stuff and then how much emotion you have to convey and we sitting here and we're watching it and you would think that you didn't rehearse it it was natural i think i don't know i'm speechless i i don't know what else to say Brilliant, like he said, just brilliant. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.